Assalamu alaikum class 2 students today we are going to start chapter number 8 part 2 previously we have uh, discussed part 1 of uh, this chapter now we are going to start chapter number 8 part 2 uh, so take out your science books and open chapter number 8 page number 56 Okay, 55, 56 uh, we have already done and uh, we will uh, like have an, a short overview of uh, what we have we had done in our previous lecture and then we will start from page number 57 and then 58 and then 59 okay so take out your science books and open chapter number 8 the, this chapter number 8 is included in your final term examinations okay next okay so previously we the, we started with the ch chapter number 8 and uh, we did its warm up exercise and like we were given different animals and different houses and we were supposed to draw a line and like a path uh, that would uh, lead uh, that would lead these animals towards their respective houses that's what we did here and then we were uh, we discussed about like the importance of housing and then we discussed different parts of uh, of a house like roof wall rooms door windows wall separating each room and door from which you can like enter any room so and different windows yes these these are these were the parts of house and uh, we discussed the importance of housing and then we moved on to our like we moved on to types of houses and then we discussed that there are different types of houses then we discussed number one that is permanent houses like which are built in a fixed place and uh, as they are their foundations are strong like they are made of solid materials so uh, they are very strong and last for many years uh, without like having to concern about their repairment cost okay and uh, we discussed that these houses are found in cities okay and then we discussed uh, uh, three and then we discussed three uh, uh, like uh, types of uh, permanent houses that were bangalore skyscraper and uh, hut okay Bangalore skyscraper and hut okay then uh, uh, I showed you that what are Bangalore like a big house having uh, uh, a garden space outer space and then we discussed skyscraper skyscraper like tall buildings having like many houses inside of them and then we discussed huts that are like not really strong because they are made of mud straw and bamboo and uh, they need repair from time to time since they are not really strong and these huts are found in villages okay so we we were done with permanent houses okay and uh, which is uh, one of the type of house houses okay and okay now uh, after this overview now we are starting with our part two of this chapter number eight okay now take out your uh, uh, science books and uh, the open page number 57 of chapter number 8 okay okay the, so the second uh, type is temporary houses okay uh, so temporary houses are like uh, temporary okay permanent and temporary permanent is that uh, you have uh, uh, like a permanent thing that like which can be changed and uh, last for many years and then there comes uh, the term temporary 
which is like for the short period of time you can say like something which is for the short interval and the permanent is something that lasts for like many years or for a long period of time okay so some houses can be so, so we now here we are talking about temporary houses so some houses can be folded up or moved from place to place these are temporary houses okay so temporary houses can be folded and can be moved from place to place place to place and uh, okay a tent is made of canvas canvas a tent okay a tent is like uh, a temporary house okay uh, how is it like a temporary house it it can be folded right like you set up a tent and then when you're done like you are going for a camp or something like that you're going for a picnic and you are just having a tent you just fold it and put it inside your bag and then when you reach your destination so you what are you going to do you are going to like uh, open it up set it up and like uh, enjoy the fireworks and all that stuff and then when you are done with all these you are like you are done with your picnic and uh, camping and all that you just go going to fold it up and then you are going to just carry it along the, your way to home so uh, a tent is also a temporary is, is a, a sort of a temporary house and it is made of canvas canvas is like a woven cloth uh, usually of linen hem cotton and is usually used for making tents okay like uh, uh, it's like tent is made of canvas it's a material that is used for making tents okay okay it is portable okay portable it's what is meaning of portable like portable means like uh, you can easily carry it or like uh, be, because uh, as you have seen like tents are really lightweight right and uh, they are like smaller like they are small like they are not uh, considered as a big house so like since they are smaller and the lighter you can just carry them from one place to another like you just fold them and you are just going to carry them from one place to another so it means they are portable portable is something that is easily carried or moved and uh, especially because they are like lighter and smaller version okay so like can uh, tent ko jo hai wo tent jo wo portable hai theek hai okay people who move from one from place to place use tents okay so people like who are moving from one place to another they are going to use tents okay they are the just uh, if they are like they set up a tent at one place and now they have to move to another place so they are just going to fold that tent up and uh, they are going to carry that to their another like another place that that like some other place they have to move to so yes so people who move from place to place use tents soldiers and campers use tents soldiers and campers campers also use tents okay since they have to move from one place to another okay uh okay a house on wheels is pulled by a horse or a car it is called caravan okay okay so a caravan is like a moving tent house and uh, like it's it's sort of a special vehicle which has all the facilities of house okay like igloo okay so caravan is something like you can say that uh, any vehicle that can be moved in one section and is habitable like people are living like any vehicle that is movable okay and it's having facilities of a house so a house on wheels a house on wheels is pulled by a horse or a car it is called caravan okay so you can see caravan it's having wheels so it's movable right and it's having the facilities of a house you can see like there is some facilities of of uh, like house okay so caravan is this some people stay in house boats house boats are houses 
made on boards okay so you can see in this image that uh, house boat boat it's it's a boat okay you guys you can see it's a boat and it has been designed or modified to be used as a house so they see you can see there there is a house on this boat okay so house boat okay so i hope this section is clear to you now moving on types of roofs okay types of roofs houses in different places have different types of roofs okay houses in different places have different types of roofs now we are going to discuss different types of roofs okay uh okay now we are starting okay in the plains in the plains most houses have flat roofs they are made from cement or asbestos okay asbestos okay in the plains plain area mein kya hota hai ki houses jo hai wo flat surfaces ke hote hain as you can see in this image that a house with a flat roof flat roof it's like a leveled surface leveled surface no bend no bending or it's not tilted so it's it's a, just like a straight uh, straight line right like uh, a straight surface you can say uh, without like when any inclination okay without any bending or tilted bhi nahi hai like ye aap log dekh rahe hain bilkul ye leveled hai so it's a flat roof okay house with a flat roof and these types of like roof are uh, like you can you will see in plains okay uh more, like in plains most houses have flat roofs and they are made from these roofs are like these flat roofs are made of like from cement or asbestos okay asbestos is like a group like refers to a group of fibrous minerals used to strengthen and fireproof materials okay so like this this uh know that flat roofs are made of from cement or asbestos uh, which is also a material it is used to make flat roofs okay okay huts usually have a sloping roof sloping roof sloping roof is like tilted okay inclined as you can see in this figure that house with a sloping roof it's like tilted you can see it's tilted like in this fig in this image we were having flat roof house with a flat roof it was leveled okay and when you see this sloping roof house with sloping roof it's tilted okay this is the roof of this house and it's tilted it's inclined okay so huts usually have a sloping roof these are made from grass leaves straw or tiles okay these houses like huts uh, the uh, a uh, huts uh, uh, may, uh, like usually have sloping roof okay and uh, these huts are like this are made from uh, grass leaves straw or tiles a roof made of straw leaves or grass is called a thatched roof okay so since uh, the, like these huts are like usually have a sloping roof huts usually have a sloping roof and uh, they are made from like these materials and so since these materials are are used these th like this roof is also called uh thatch roof such roof is also called thatch roof these roofs help these roofs help rain water to slide down easily like if it's raining if it's raining so like water it's not going to stay and it's going to like just go 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 and it's going to fall down it's not going to stay on the roof and uh, it won't damage the house okay and like speaking of this flat roof like if if it's going to rain so it's uh, the water is going to be collected here okay but speaking of this it's it's like when it's raining so the water will just slide down and it will go towards the ground Okay, since it's bended, it's like tilted. Okay, so water is going to go down. It won't stay, and it won't harm the roof of this house. Okay, so these roofs help rain water to slide down easily. Next, okay, 
okay in hilly and forest areas the houses have sloping roofs the rain water flows down the roofs without damaging the houses okay so uh, hilly and forest areas mein bhi ye hota hai sloping roofs hote hain unke and uh, as we discussed uh, like ke sloping roofs kya like help out karti hain if they like there is uh, like rain rain water like it's going to slide down and all the way towards ground and it's not going to damage your house the water is not going to damage your house okay okay eskimos live in ice houses called igloos okay these are igloos and uh, the people like living in igloo they are just eskimos okay eskimos and igloo has a dome shaped roof okay dome shaped is it's like shape like half of a square okay as you can see shape of shape like half of a square okay dome shaped roof igloo has dome shaped roof okay uh okay do you know houses in forest and hills are also built on pillars as you can see that uh houses in forest and hills are also built on pillars so these are pillars and this is the house which is like built on the, these pillars okay these houses are called stilt houses okay these houses are called stilt stilt houses okay they allow the rain water to flow easily under them okay uh, like uh, if uh, it's raining so and uh, like water is just going to pass by these pillars and uh, it's not going to like harm or damage the house and so the rain water is going to just flow easily okay under them the under this house okay through these pillars Okay, and it's not going to damage. Again, it's not going to damage your house, like the stilt house. This is stilt house. Okay, like अगर जो है हमारे पास बारिश हो रही होगी, तो हमारे पास क्या होगा कि जो बारिश का like जो पानी होगा, rain water होगा, वो यहाँ से जो है वो चला जाएगा. ठीक है, and it's not going to like harm your uh, or damage this house. Okay, so ये यहाँ से चला जाएगा. ठीक है? Stilled house, stilled house, like क्या होता है? Like is, uh, it also provides uh, protection against flooding. Like अगर it's if अल्लाह ना करे if it's uh, like flooding uh, due to rainwater or due to any reason, so क्या होगा कि rainwater is just going to pass through these like pillars, pillars, okay? And under this house, so. these still houses are also protected from flooding okay i hope the uh, up till now you are clear okay okay now you know fill in the blanks okay fill in the blanks houses which last for many years are called permanent houses okay permanent permanent houses okay okay permanent houses permanent houses since they are permanent like they last for many years okay okay a house made of canvas is called a tent as we have studied like house that is made of canvas canvas is a material that is used for making tent so we are just going to write here tent houses in hilly and forest areas have sloping roofs as we have discussed here okay have sloping roofs have sloping roofs okay so so these were the fill in the blanks okay now starting with clothing so far we have discussed housing and now we are going to start clothing clothing part okay we wear clothes to cover ourselves okay we why do we wear clothes why clothing is necessary because because it cover ourselves it's it's used to cover ourselves okay clothes protects again uh, clothes protect us from the sun wind rain and cold okay since it's like used the clothes are used to protect or and cover ourselves so it protects us from uh, wind rain and cold like external uh, environment okay 
external we wear different clothes in different season okay we wear different clothes according to the season okay the season like uh, summer winter uh, rain rainy season okay and uh, we wear clothes according to the season different season okay like in winter in winter what we wear we wear woolen clothes to keep ourselves warm okay so do, during winter season we wear warm clothes woolen clothes okay and uh, these clothes such clothes helps us to keep ourselves warm okay and in summer season is speaking of in summer like summer season we wear light cotton clothes we wear light clothes because like it's uh, really sunny and like it's really hot so we wear we prefer to wear light clothes Okay, now speaking of rainy season, we wear rain raincoat. Okay, like if if it's raining, so we wear raincoat. We wear a raincoat when we go out in the rains. Okay, in the winter, we wear woolen clothes to keep ourselves warm. In summer, we wear light cotton clothes. We wear a raincoat when we go out in the rains. Okay. So clothing, we we like we uh, like briefly discuss the importance of clothing, and then different types of clothing, and according to different seasons. Okay, we discuss this in uh, this this part of the post, the part of your topic, your chapter number eight. Okay. Now moving on. Okay, the points that has like we have to remember. Okay, uh, so far we have discussed and we should remember. Okay, number one is we need a house to live in. Of course, we need a house to live in. And uh, like since it's protecting us and providing us a shelter. Okay, our house gives us shelter against bad weather. Yes, it's true that it's giving us a shelter, providing us a shelter and security. And it's uh, protecting us from bad weather like rain and uh, uh, like uh, summer like in during summer it's sun and during like cold it's pro uh, it's providing us a shelter okay different parts of a house are okay we have discussed like in this chapter different parts of house uh, and uh, different parts of house that are floor walls doors windows roof or ceiling Okay, some houses are permanent, some are temporary. We discuss permanent houses like skyscrapers and uh, huts and uh, uh, Bangalore. These these were permanent houses and like they last for many years and we don't have to like worry about their uh, repairment uh, because they are strong and they are not they are in a fixed place. Okay. And uh, speaking of temporary, they are portable, like we can carry from one place to another. And uh, yes, they are such are temporary and they are not uh, in a fixed place. We can carry and uh, these are like usually lightweight. Okay. Okay. And uh, they like do not last for many years. Okay. Uh, for, for a short, they last for a short period of time okay such houses like temporary houses okay roofs are sloping flat or dome shaped okay as we have discussed sloping like which is tilted or like band and uh, flat it's like leveled sir, uh, leveled roof and dome shaped like we discussed uh, like a half kind of a half sphere okay it's like a half sphere dome shaped it's like a shape like a half of a sphere sphere okay so different types of roof we have discussed different things are used to build a house and we we saw like different uh, we discussed different things that uh, are used to build a house like uh, cement straw wood etc okay we wear clothes to protect ourselves from 
the sun wind rain and cold okay we wear clothes why do we wear clothes we uh, wear clothes to protect ourselves from the sun wind rain and cold okay so these are the points that you should remember okay and uh, we have discussed in the this chapter number eight and you should remember them okay you should keep them in your mind okay uh, and there were some new words in your uh, chapter number eight like permanent that that which lasts for a long time anything that lasts for a long time it's it, it's permanent okay and uh, temporary temporary that something that like that which lasts for only a short time okay per, uh, like it's like temporary is opposite opposite of permanent okay and it's like uh, something which lasts for only a short time okay thatch roof we discussed in uh, our chapter roof made from straw grass or leaves is called thatch roof canvas canvas it's strong rough cloth used for making tents it's like a cloth that is used for making tents okay so tents are made of canvas canvas okay camper camper is a person who lives in a tent on a holiday okay like camper camper who's camper who lives in tents on holiday like uh, camper is someone like who is going for camping and like a uh, that person set up a tent and lives in that tent okay so camper is a person who lives in a tent on a holiday caravan caravan a vehicle which people use as a temporary home which is pulled by a smaller cars car or horses okay uh, like i said like we discussed like okay vehicle so like a uh, temporary home hai, okay we discussed it under temporary house, temporary home, and uh, it's like uh, portable and it's temporary and having the facilities of uh, of a house and uh, it is like uh, pulled or pulled by like moved by a smaller car or ho horses. Okay, caravan is something like that. Okay, कोई भी एक ऐसा vehicle है उसके पास सारी जो फैसिलिटीज हैं हाउस हाउस की ठीक है और लाइक वो मूवेबल है पोर्टेबल है ठीक है एंड क्या चीज उसको मूव कर रही है लाइक उसके साथ या तो अटैच होगी लाइक स्मॉल कार या हॉर्सेस अटैच होगी ठीक है और लाइक वो जो है वो लाइक उसको लेके जा रहे हैं उसको पुल कर रहे हैं ठीक है फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू एन अदर ठीक है कैरवेन इज समथिंग लाइक अ व्हीकल कोई भी एक गाड़ी टाइप समझ लें इस तरह लेकिन उसके पास फैसिलिटीज हैं सारी जो कि एक हाउस के पास होती हैं ठीक है like facilities of a house okay and like people are living in that and it's temporary okay and uh, like kya cheez hai like jo usko move karegi like either it will be a like horse like horse jo wo connected honge usse or like ya phir ye hoga ki horses honge jo ki like move karenge isko from one place to another okay caravan is something like that. and uh, like portable what is portable something that be, can be carried from place to place okay like portable we use portable like agar ek cheez koi portable hai we hum kahenge to it means ke it can move easily be carried from one place to another theek hai uh, igloo a house made of blocks of hard snow theek hai igloo is a house that that is made of snow blocks of hard snow okay so these were the new words okay and uh, the meaning of uh, them are also mentioned here and uh, these were the points that you have to remember keep in your mind okay now uh, i hope uh, the uh, this chapter number 8 is clear to you and uh, the explanation part of part 1 and part 2 are done of this chapter in the next video we are going to uh, like uh, solve some exercises related to this chapter so Uh, please uh, read this chapter very like very thoroughly and uh, i hope you have understood all the things all the concept regarding this chapter okay 
so speaking of like homework the task you have to do you have to read this whole chapter number eight twice and get a better understanding of this chapter number eight since it's included in your final term examination okay and uh, read read this chapter number eight twice and get a better understanding um and i will like uh, i will see you in the next lecture okay and uh, uh, till then allah hafiz and read this chapter number eight twice and and try to understand the concepts mentioned in this chapter number eight. okay i will see you in the next video allah hafiz